You can only get this disease from a tick. So we asked, how can you keep your family safe? And if you find a bite, what should you do? We just had to change her uh, tick medication. Pete Boardman is protecting his pup Paisley from tick bites. I walk her in these woods every day, so we want to make sure that she's safe and not getting Lyme disease. Recently, there's been a spike in a different tick-borne illness, anaplasmosis. We see a lot of people in Vermont get sick with this disease, anaplasmosis, at this time of year. You or your dog could get it from the same type of tick that carries other dangerous diseases like Lyme. Lyme disease hospitalizes about 3% of the people who get it in Vermont. Anaplasmosis hospitalizes around 36% of people. So it's a much more severe illness. Bradley Tompkins is an infectious disease epidemiologist at the Vermont Health Department. This time of year is why we're seeing these numbers now. Ticks are active in the fall as well. They try to get one more blood meal in before the winter. To keep ticks off, wear clothes that cover you and use bug spray on any skin that shows. So if you're out hiking, you're gonna to wanna to stay on a trail like this one. That's because ticks aren't like fleas. They don't jump. You have to brush up against them for them to bite you. If you do find one that's embedded in your skin, you just need to get some fine tip tweezers, grab the tick as close as you can to uh, your skin and pull straight up. Then watch for symptoms like fever, headaches, muscle aches, and chills. There isn't anything that you can do after a tick bite, but before you get symptoms to prevent yourself from developing anaplasmosis. But uh, fortunately, it, it's a disease that responds well to antibiotics. So again, if you do find a tick bite, you're gonna to wanna to get that tick off of you as soon as possible and as safely as possible. Use a pair of tweezers. The health department says don't light a match, don't let fire touch your skin. It can be very unsafe and they say it won't get the tick off. We're live in Colchester tonight, NBC5 News.